Okay, morning YouTubers. Today is the day where the Transit Smiley is going to its new home. Obviously it's not starting at the minute because the battery is flat. So just giving her a little boost with the NOCO GB500. Wait till it goes click. Thank you very much. Don't let me down. Alternate is charging. Right, daft warmed up, ready to go. Time to get the transit smiley loaded up and get it over to Coventry. So I've got some news coming with this daft soon. Some very exciting news. And look at that. What other trucks do you get for that money that have a LODAR remote control system? You just don't. You just don't get them. Loaded. Up she goes. Okay, good afternoon YouTubers. Greg here again at GDB. Currently out in the DAF CF65 18 tonner accident unit on the line okay let's try again so going out in the DAF uh, yes it was on eBay and just to quickly uh, put in there I'm just in traffic on the motorway in my seatbelt exempt vehicle it doesn't have them so I can't wear it but I have got my high-vis trousers on okay right back to the start so transit smiley got it on the back it's sold on eBay do you know where it's going? Well, I'm going to a place to put it in a container. It's going to Africa, uh, exactly going to Nigeria. Didn't really think it would, but that's where it's going. Um, and the people that we sold it to said, if you have any more transit smileys or the old transits like this, let them know because they're always shipping them abroad. So if you've got a transit smiley, it still runs and drives, get it on eBay get it to Africa that's the place to be so yeah quite happy at that uh, just sitting in traffic on the M6 at the minute it is extremely slow on a Friday and we're on half 12 roughly yeah about half well, 20 to 1 20 to 1 to be exact I don't know why it's busy because it's not even peak time so a little bit frustrating um, some of you may have saw periodically on and off with this truck on eBay um, just to say it is not for sale anymore it's staying on the fleet um, after that last video um, I chased one of the fabricators and he got me a quote and I'm very happy to pay the money to get a new body put on the truck I'm also going to get it resprayed going to get the cab done the high ab done uh, get all the hydraulics re redone rechanged some of the hoses changed nice new fresh service get a new certificate on it get it to absolutely perfect standard um, I went to view another truck the other day because as you know I was selling this truck because I couldn't get anybody to to do the work on it but I've now found uh, three people separately to do it in stages so one body bed second I have in the um, painting the item in the cab and then the other one to do all the the hoses and pipe work and get it to a good standard and good work and order again so yeah absolutely buzzing that we are saving the DAF. I love the truck, I think it's absolutely bloody brilliant. And as I was saying, I went to view a truck the other day up Nottingham, uh, which was an iVeco 18 ton tilting slide, which was a lot, a lot of money. Had a lovely high up, yep, very long high up, brilliant. But let's just be honest, for me and some other businesses like me, how often do you use a high up? Probably the time of my seven, eight year in recovery, and obviously having a lot of the contracts going back a couple of years when I was all into it and being the best in the town and all that stuff. I've probably done four high-up jobs in my whole recovery, uh, in my whole recovery life basically, yeah. Nine times out of ten, it can always be winched out and you know, other methods. High-abs, very rare I have to use them, extremely rare. But, 
we have got winter coming up, you know, might be a couple of opportunities to use it when cars are down embankments or whatnot, so who knows, or burnt out vehicles. Um, so yeah, viewed this IV coat, it had a high ab, great, and it had an SLA bed. Some of you that don't know what they are, it's a super low approach body, so you know, it goes pretty much flat to the floor. But, I measured, got the chap to measure the truck, and it was so high off the ground. And I thought, if I've got a loot and van on the back, am I even gonna be able to get under any bridges? The answer is no, not really, because it was so high off the ground, even strapping it, you'd have to put your hand so high up to, to strap it if you weren't strapping it on the uh, on the floor, on the deck, for example. So now nah, forget it, forget it. Not for me all these new modern trucks, I, I don't, don't believe in it. They're just not worth the money, in my opinion. Whereas this thing, it's a profitable truck. Even if one of you did buy it when it was first up on eBay, you would have realized you had a very profitable truck. If you go out and spend 40, 50,000 pounds on an accident unit with I have a slide bed, regardless if it's an SLA or just a normal angled tilt, that how often, or how long is it gonna to take to get your money back? It's gonna take ages. Even if you're on a police contract at 150 a pop, that's a lot of jobs to get your 40, 50 grand work. Whereas for me on this, you know, it was on eBay, 14 grand. It's probably gonna owe me just shy of 20 with the new bed, body, respray, IAB certificates, you know, testing. It's a fucking good truck for 20 grand, I'll tell you that. Anyway, that is my mid-afternoon rant over. I will video this transit when I get it unloaded. Hopefully I can maybe video it driving in the container if it's if that's how quick it happens, I don't know. Uh, but as you know, next part of the clip, I will be on scene at the delivery address. And stay tuned on the channel if you want to see the big transformation of this DAF, which will be starting near the 28th of this month. So that's when it's going in and the work's going to start. Hoping if all goes to plan in my time frame in my head, 7 to 14 days, she'll be stripped naked and built back up beautifully. So stay tuned on the channel and subscribe for some future videos of the transformation. Over and out. Right, we are arriving at the delivery After destination. Turn right, colliery lane, then you have reached your destination. Looking for somewhere called Turn Unit right, 11. Then you have reached your destination. Where is unit 11? 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where are we? Where are we?
Transit Smiley done and exchanged. Not kind of how I planned it. I was expecting it to be in a nice yard, storage containers, drive it in here, lift it onto the boat or something. Nah. Uh, so yeah, a bit disappointing, but hey, that's the story. The Transit Smiley done and dropped off. However, I was on my way back, took a phone call as I do. Now got a Honda Accord to pick up from Burnwood back to Stafford, which is an absolute bonus. However, I just came off the toll road on the northbound and now I've had to come off at 12, turn around and come back on the toll road to get to this job. Uh, 10 minute away on sat now. He said it's got a drive shaft issue. Next part of the conversation, the wheels hanging off. Okay. Uh, may as well video it, try and make it a little bit more exciting than having that transit smiley, it was a little bit boring. So yeah, next part of the clip we shall be on scene with a hundred cords with a drive shaft or a wheel hanging on. See you uh, when we get there. Drive shafts give way, or his ball joint, or his lower arm. What a mess. Not liking how low that front bumper is either. Not liking that. Going to have to be some slippy gems and a rear end. Yeah, rear end it. Yeah, Jesus, all his suspension's gone possibly, or the car's lowered, I'm not sure. Are you? All right. <laughs> well, what's going on here? Ah, it looks quite low as well. Yeah. Ah, ball joints give way off it, I'd say. Yeah, drive shafts out as well. Yeah, your ball joint, this one on here, has obviously decided to give way for it to come off, and then it's obviously caused your drive shaft to pop out. So, yeah, uh, and obviously the tyres, a little bit illegal.
to lock that one back over. Stand over. I've got it on the arm, on the snatch. That'll do. Beautiful. Oh well, that's that one sorted. And now the good news is, mud guard we had prepared the other day has now give way. So now I'm gonna have to fucking cable tie this up. Fuck's sake. Right, that is the Honda Accord finally loaded. Um, start off, normally accident jobs. If I know the rear wheels are okay and it's not four wheel or rear wheel, I'll just Nissan Navara it every single time. Under with the spec, jaws out, lift up, see you later that job obviously i was already out in the tilt and slide accident unit just because you got a tilt and slide doesn't necessarily mean that they're easy to load. don't get wrong way easier than a beaver tail like a thousand percent tilt and slides are very good and that job i thought when it was winching on i used a rear towing pump just bang in the middle of the car which i thought now nah, this is going too well for my life this is too easy next minute eh, thing fucking turned sideways and then we're having to fucking snatch block it over from each different direction Finally get it loaded on, um, which was great. And then I've looked at me back of my truck. So the mud guard that I had re-welded on the other day, it's lasted probably a week and a half, and it came off again. So I've now had to cable tie it up to get back to the yard. Well, get back to the drop off and then straight back to the yard. And then this vehicle is off the road until further notice when I get my mate to uh, re-weld it back up again. So we'll be back up, up on the road in a couple hours time. Hopefully if all goes to plan, what time are we on? We are on five, no, no 4.30, it finishes at five. Hopefully we'll be back up and running for 5.30 if all goes to plan.
Um, gotta love the recovery industry, aren't you really? No day's ever the same. You always get a challenge in this industry, whether it's a customer's vehicle or your own vehicle. After all the years I've been doing this for probably pushing seven, eight years, I've broke down many a time. You know, when you first set up on your own business, you think, oh, you start having a paddy, you start crying, oh, fuck this recovery shit, not for me. But I've got to a point now where you just deal with it. Deal with the scenario. It's all about how you um, deal with the scenario, should I say, and overcome the objections. And that's it, we'll get it back up and fixed tonight. Brilliant, away we go again. Um, some of you may have done a slightly different technique with that vehicle. You might have just, you know, lifted it up from the front end. You know, you could have done it either way, really. It was just for me, in terms of ease of parking there and get it loaded up. So, yeah, quite happy at that. Some people like a front end winch, some people like a back end winch. Can't really say anything more. So, we're just going to get to the drop off, and that's it. If you do like what you see in the channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, turn your notifications on. And uh, yeah, but I'm very excited for the big transformation of this truck. It's going to have a complete overhaul. Absolute complete overhaul. So very exciting times ahead at the end of the month. Uh, if you want to drop a comment below, say where's your high vis, where's your PP, where's your gloves, where's your face mask, what boots you're wearing, what size shoe are you, or what size fucking, you know, you've got your pants, whatever. If you want to comment it, just comment it. You know, happy days. See you on the next one. Just pulled over in a lay-by to check my mudguard. Cable ties are working perfectly, but obviously when I get to the drop-off, I have to just cut the cable ties because I'm using it underneath like the toe and eye of the, the toe and eye. Start again. Can, I've got the, what was that, an RTC? Uh, no, you just parked on the grass for no reason. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, so try and get another one. Uh, so yeah, I've got the timber underneath the vehicle still, which is obviously mounted on the subframe of the vehicle, so it's keeping it from, you know, sitting completely on the floor obviously as you can see the lower arm is obviously all the way in the suspension so the vehicle's sitting dead low so i'm just trying to think in my head what's going to be the best process of getting it off so what i'm thinking is try and keep the timber under i might put another one under jack it up see if there's any part of it that will want to roll off to get the front end down as soon as i'm happy the front end's down i'll leave it on the timber so the front bumper's not touching the floor. This is all hopeful, wishful thinking. And then I'll just drive the truck away from underneath. But I do know the garage where I'm dropping it off at, the car park is not pretty. Um, so, don't know, just have to play it by ear, I think. But that's my method of madness. Another timber under, see if we've got a bit of gravity to roll, leave it on the timber, drive away from under it, then jack up the car and get me timbers out, and away we go. Wishful thinking. Uh, until we get to the garage, I do not know, but that's what I want to do. Whether it goes that way is another story. Right, next part of this clip, we'll be at the drop off. Is it going to come off easy, or is it going to be a pain in the ass? We'll soon find out. Right, come have a look, come have a look. It looks like it's the ball joint that's came off first. Yeah. Looks that way, then it's caused the drive shaft to come out afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. But obviously when I drop it off, where it goes is where it stays. Well, not yet. Yeah. So you have this one come very, that's mm. been too old as well. So that... Yeah. But obviously the tyre, obviously it needs a tyre on as well, like. It's been very bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> not sure of a few anyway. So what my aim was, if you're happy to have it here, that I'll obviously try and get the front wheels off to somewhere here yeah. then obviously i'm going to try and just drive away from under it that's going to be my my method ideally Yeah, to be fair, I ain't about it, that's it. Drop on there. So all that's been now, just let it come off, and that's it, then I'll drive away uh, from underneath it. 
so. Oh, I've got the slices for now. There's still a little bit of roll back Yeah, I'm just going to walk with it. It might roll a bit more. Uh, push it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going, it's going. Let it come off and that's it. Then I'll drive away uh, from underneath it. Just got back, that was my temp repair on the mud guard. Perfectly did the job. Obviously, my mate did weld this the other day, but obviously, it's fucking collapsed in a different place now, typically. So, what we're gonna have to do because you can't go on the bed, plus, it's shit, gonna do a second brace. Um, don't know how, but it's gonna happen somehow. So, yeah, that's a project later on. But now I've got a tire job to do, so I'll see you in a bit. Like and subscribe for more. See you later.